are we are at Electronica China. We are showing a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, let's have a look here. There is another Raspberry Pi actually being printed live. So uh, we are using a, a Reprap printer. Uh, it's Arduino powered, uh, low cost 3D printer. And this is all printed from a 3D model that we can see here on the screen. Uh, so that is a 3D model uh, of Raspberry Pi downloaded from RS Components website. There are about 35,000 other 3D models on RS Components website. Please check uh, for downloads. These are the examples of uh, some other 3D printed objects. A connectors from TE Connectivity. Also available for download from RS Online. So showcasing the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a credit card size computer based on the uh, ARM 11 chipset and it actually runs, uh, when it boots up, it actually puts up the Linux operating system from the SD card. Um, it has got uh, Ethernet, uh, two USBs and HDMI output and uh, it's very low power. Um, Right now we are at the exhibition, we are using a mobile portable battery to power up the Raspberry Pi. What the Raspberry Pi has also is a set of GPIO pins to allow programmers to make use of some of these uh, signals, like uh, uh, I2C and, and SPI. And what we can do with Raspberry Pi is, uh, Raspberry Pi can be connected to an IP camera like this. So here at Electronica, we connected the Raspberry Pi to an IP camera to uh, stream the video signals by Wi-Fi, by the Wi-Fi dongle here, to the other side of the wall where we have a, a monitor to display the video signal live stream. And um, other than this, uh, security camera application. We also can use the F Raspberry Pi to teach kids how to play uh, games and uh, how to do programming. So here on the screen you'll see uh, uh, we have uh, Raspberry Pi uh, offering uh, Super Mario game and the Pac-Man on the right hand side. Showcasing the Raspberry Pi running the camera module here in Electronica Show in China. The camera module is connected to the Raspberry Pi via the uh, FFC cable here. It plugs into the zip connector inside on the board. And now let's show on the screen. Okay, so this is the live feed. Uh, 5 megapixels, uh, 1080p resolution. Uh, stay tuned with designspark.com. Uh, we are at Electronica in Shanghai uh, showing a lot of cool stuff. One of them here is uh, a demo of physical computing with Raspberry Pi. Uh, the board that we see here, the black one here, it's uh, called Pygo. Uh, this is very much a development uh, prototype, uh, so the board is not on sale yet. This is the first time we are showcasing it in public, get quite a lot of interest. Uh, this is a platform that is different to everything uh, uh, that is used for physical computing with Raspberry Pi uh, out there at the moment, as uh, this is a modular system. The setup here, uh, we have got a, a flag waving demo um, and a couple of examples of how uh, Pygo can drive the things in a physical world. Uh, so this is a Wii controller. Uh, it is actually communicating with Raspberry Pi via a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, so pressing uh, number one here, it starts the, the, the flag. Uh, we see the Design Spark Raspberry TV. This is actually a demo prepared for us by Alex from Raspberry TV. 
uh, another button uh, starts the fan, so we can see it now rotating. Uh, another button rings the bell. So these are the sort of simple things that can be done with Raspberry Pi. Gadget Renaissance Sakura, uh, we've got uh, Leonardo at Mega32 Arduino, uh, the next one uh, STM32 Discovery, this is a board from ST with a Cortex M3 processor. Moving on to the Texas Instruments Beagle board, this is a, a low cost, uh, powerful platform with uh, an ARM processor. Uh, here below, uh, a couple of boards uh, from Design Spark. Display board uh, and an animatronic lab board. This is for evaluating uh, audio circuits, for example. They both are compatible with the embed uh, modules. Uh, the board below here is an application board uh, from embed ARM, again, compatible with the uh, M0 and Cortex M3. Uh, this board is uh, exclusively sold from RS Components, uh, so check out our website for the details. Uh, and a couple of boards here are from Microchip uh, chip kit, both 32-bit uh, microcontrollers. Uh, the bigger one board, Max32, uh, on the left, uh, is available in uh, DesignSpark PCB format, so there are schematics and PCB files available for that. Uh, and going all the way to the left, um, we've got uh, a special limited edition Raspberry Pi. Uh, it comes in a nice box with a certificate of authenticity uh, signed by uh, Eben, the founder of Raspberry Pi. There is a unique serial number on the certificate and on the board, uh, and the boards are blue. Uh, there is only 1,000 of them out there, uh, so check out designspark.com website for the details, and uh, we'll be running competitions where you can uh, win and get hold of one of, one of these boards. So we have a demo of a Makey Makey powered game here. Uh, there are four watermelons. Uh, what happens here is that Makey Makey is, uh, is a controller board we're gonna see in a minute. Uh, it is uh, controlling the game via the watermelons. So pretty much touching the watermelons completes the circuit and uh, emulates the keyboard. So we can see here uh, the arrows ring. I'm gonna be touching the top one and we can see uh, that is being read by, by the PC, by the computer. Uh, so this game is run uh, on this laptop here. Uh, Makey Makey can be used with any type of uh, web-based game or a PC-based game. Uh, and uh, the real uh, thing here is that uh, Makey Makey controller board, uh, this is uh, the controller board that is sensing the, the resistive uh, circuits. Uh, and this is what interfaces to the watermelons.